As technology advances, here at CISPRO we strive to find the right technology to use at the right time. One of the biggest things hitting the social media arena right now is something known as a bot. A bot is a digital citizen that sits in the background and is able to interact with users in a consistent manner. CISPRO in the Innovation Lab has come up with something called a CISPRO bot. The CISPRO bot can actually reside in Skype, Twitter, Facebook and pretty much almost any social media platform, giving the user the ability to choose the platform that he would like to interact with the ERP application. So as you can see in Skype, I have a new contact and it's called the CISPRO bot. And you interact with him as you would interact with a contact in Skype. So what I'm going to say is, hello bot. And what this will do is send a message off to the bot and the bot will then respond to me. In this particular case, this particular bot actually can provide three pieces of functionality or provide three services to the user. It can provide a price query, a stock lookup and an order status query. So I'm just going to go ahead and instead of typing the entire word, I'm simply going to type in the word price. The reason why I don't have to type in the entire word is what we're using in the background is called natural language understanding where whatever the user types in, we can then take that, convert it into a, a natural language understanding and pass that instruction off to the bot. The bot then comes back to me and says, please tell me the stock code you're interested in. And I can go ahead and say A100. The bot will then validate that the stock code is correct and will then ask me for a customer number to provide a more accurate quote. So I'm simply gonna put customer number one in. Keeping in mind that when interacting with the bot through Skype, you can not only do it from your desktop, you could do it from your mobile device, whether it be a phone, whether it run be on iOS, you could do the same sort of functionality when working in Facebook Messenger as well. So the bot then comes back to me and says, how many would you like to be quoted for? And I'll simply go five. What will happen in the background is the bot will now start interacting with the, Cis with the core CISPRO ERP infrastructure, calculating the price for that particular item, as well as providing a total for that particular order. The next thing you can do is use your mouse because these buttons are actually interactive now within Skype. So I can simply click on the yes button and now what the system is going to do is going to take that particular stock code for that particular customer and automatically create a new order for you. And now the order that's been returned to us is order number 1152. We can do exactly the same with the same code base directly for the Pro. So with inside CISPRO, we've hosted a bot in an HTML5 user interface, and I can simply type in hi. And similarly, because we are now sitting inside an HTML5 infrastructure inside CISPRO, I could again type in price, or you will notice now I have one there as, as a shortcut. I could do order status query for number three, and previously in Skype, we added an order. It was 1151. So in CISPRO, what I could do right now is the bots now asking me for a sales order number and I can simply type in 1151. The bot will then go off to the CISPRO database, make a query depending on your permissions and then actually tell you the status of the order, how many lines are in the order and what the value of the order is. Customers using CISPRO is going to be able to expose this bot to their customers from a self-service point of view. They are able to interact with the bot and get a consistent customer delivery or customer expectations.